Aloha, I'm Kendall Weaver from MyKawaiiPhotos.com, the sponsor of Life on Kauai. I want to get you this special 16 by 20 inch canvas wrap. This is 1.25 inches deep. It comes with hangers on the back. It's ready to go as soon as you take it out of the package. It's a special uh, Poipu Beach Honu uh, in a photograph that I took myself just recently here on the island of Kauai. Send an email to get yours. These will be uh, run in a, an issue of no more than 100 prints. Send an email to MyKawaiiPhotos at gmail.com. Express Expressing your interest and uh, reference, if you could, Honu One Kauai. That's mykawaiiphotos at gmail.com. Just send us your email and we will get your edition uh, off and shipped to you so that you can put it up wherever you want it. All right, let's do the show. Once again, I'm Kendall Weaver. Man, do I like the fact that you're watching these videos and that you're uh, sending us little notes, uh, making comments on the YouTube channel. Uh, if you can hit that subscribe button, that's always great, of course. I really love it when you leave the comments. So many nice people saying so many nice things. Listen, we're leaving the airport because that's the way I like to start these videos because, well, when you fly to Kauai, that's where you're going to be starting from, right? Oh, well, look, it looks like I'm driving like a madman because I've sped it up a little bit. There's no need for this uh, part to go uh, any slower than it should. This is where we're going. See, Hanama Ulu there and Puhi there and Wailua. We're going to Wailua Falls. This, by the way, is where we are in the world. In case you've ever wondered, Hawaii is an archipelago uh, stretch out here in the middle of nowhere, 24 miles, 2,400 miles from California. This, by the way, is Honolulu, which is on the island of Oahu. And then you've got the big island, which is Hawaii Island. Uh, let's see. Third in line there is Maui. That's Maui with a bunch of little islands surrounding it. And last but not least, of course, we're out here way up on the left end and Kauai and the beautiful little island of Niihau, which is right next to us there, which is called the Forbidden Island because it is privately owned and really you don't go there much. So today we're just taking a quick drive. I like to, to show you in these videos how easy it is to get someplace awesome, like the Kentucky Fried Chicken just to the left of the screen right there. When you come out of the airport, you're not even gonna make a turn. You're just gonna go straight out of the airport. You'll be on Ahukini Road. And eventually you'll have to stop, make a right on uh, Haumaali'i Highway, and you'll go past Hilo Hotties, the store there that we're passing uh, on our right. They got a little bit of everything. You see the sign there that says Wailua is just ahead. I want to show you a couple of important things along the way. I mean, there are important things when you travel, and then there are important things when you travel. That's the Walmart. Yep, it's that close. Uh, come out of the airport, go down Ahukini Road until you're forced to turn, make a right, and then pretty soon, just a mile, a couple miles maybe, is the Walmart up here to the right, which is only slightly less important than the next uh, iconic figure that I'll show you just past this stoplight. Again, on Kaumaali'i Highway. I know it sounds difficult, but you'll get used to it. I, I'm probably not saying it really right either, but I get away with it. Coming up on the right side is something very important on uh, any vacation trip. It's the hospital. Wilcox Hospital is by far the biggest hospital on the island, really the only true hospital on the island as far as I know. I think there's a couple other small medical facilities. But if you uh, are in need of medical attention, Wilcox is where you will come. If you are in need of something more serious, you will be medevaced over to Honolulu on the island of Oahu, which is, by the way, just about 100 miles away. As the crow or the albatross flies, it's about 100 miles from Kauai to Oahu, which is nice because that's where Honolulu is. And if you want to jump a plane in Lihue and fly to Honolulu, it's about 26 minutes. The way I timed it, wheels up to wheels down. It's about a 26 minute flight. So that's kind of a nice uh, trip to be at Waikiki Beach, uh, just a few minutes from the time you were left off in, in Lihue. Uh, coming up here, this is the important left turn. Now we came out of the airport, we didn't make a turn, right? We just went straight until we were forced to turn right on Hamalii Highway. And then this, we're gonna make a left where it says Wailua Falls. And by the way, if you haven't uh, seen Wailua Falls before, you're going to here in just a few minutes. Actually, we're about four miles from it right now. So you're going to see it, and if you're of any age, like, you know, older like me, you might look at it and think that it looks very familiar. Well, honestly, it's been in a whole bunch of movies and a whole bunch of TV over the years, over the decades. Wailua Falls is very popular. Part of the reason is 
you can just walk right up to it. At least the, the viewpoint. Getting to the actual water is something a little more dangerous and tricky. Uh, but anyway, uh, it was used in the opening scenes of Fantasy Island. The old TV show, 70s, 70s, early 80s, something like that. Fantasy Island, uh, every opening of the show, they showed that beautiful waterfall. That was Wailua Falls. This is a cemetery that you're looking at to your right. There are a couple on the way up this little uh, mountain road, and there a giant pile of red dirt. I don't know if it'll still be here when you get here, but if anybody needs red dirt, there's a lot of it on Kauai. It's funny, these islands are a volcanic island chain, of course, and so when you go to the beach, it's all black rock, right? It's all very black rock, very volcanic looking stone, but anywhere on the island, the dirt is red. And I'm not sure how Mother Nature made it that way, uh, but the dirt is certainly red. Kauai, by the way, it's the fourth largest Hawaiian island. I'll tell you a few things uh, on the drive here as you're just looking at the scenery as we tool along this little road. Uh, by the way, it is a little bumpy. My sporty little car uh, doesn't like the potholes, and there are potholes. Uh, and as you can see, the, the weeds have grown in to the right side. The birds are trying to confuse me. It's all very daunting. It's like I'm a stunt driver, really. Except that it's not really that dangerous. You can see it's 25 miles an hour, which I absolutely uh, was doing no more than on this trip. Uh, Kauai is 562 square miles. You think about it, it's not very big, but then it is big. I mean, look at that scenery. Look at how beautiful this is. We have lots of wide open spaces on Kauai, and yet it's the tiniest little speck. When you look it up on the map, you look out in the ocean, and you think, is that anything? Uh, the highest point on the island is 5,243 feet. That's our highest elevation, which is interesting because the temperature can change a little bit. The um, rain factor can change. If you're on the island and you've been here for 24 hours and you haven't seen rain, that would be an oddity. It does rain on Kauai. Now, here's the deal. Uh, we all kind of smile and enjoy the rain because uh, rain brings rainbows. And truthfully... Until I moved to Kauai, I had never seen so many rainbows. Lots of little cloud formations and then tropical stormy type rain come down and then you get rainbows. You get double rainbows. You see that all the time. You also get chickens. We've discussed the chickens a lot before. Uh, and as I've said before, if you want to see a chicken, just look out your rental car as you leave the airport because there are going to be some in the parking lot. If you go to that Walmart that we passed, uh, look out there, by the way. There's going to be chickens there, too. Uh, the Costco in Lahue, chickens. Chickens in the parking lot. Uh, Home Depot. We have a Home Depot in Lahue. Chickens all over that parking lot, too. The story has always been that the storm, uh, Iniki, back in 1992, blasted all of the chicken coops open and all of the domestic chickens went free. I don't know if I really buy that story or not. I think people just let their chickens out. They are big, beautiful roosters and, and, and lovely little hens, and they're very nice, and people don't like, uh, don't mind them so much. They eat the bugs, right? Uh, the only people I've met that don't like the chickens on Kauai are the people who are staying in a hotel room that is right above where a bunch of chickens are. Because I will tell you this, you know how chickens uh, crow and make noise when they see the daylight? These chickens don't understand that. They just make noise all the time. They don't seem to understand that they're supposed to be quiet at night, and then during the daytime, it's a little more forgiving if they make some noise. Uh, I personally love the fact that the chickens eat the bugs because, again, it is a tropical island, and we do have things like bugs. Now, what we don't have are things like bears. I used to live in Juneau, Alaska, and if you took a hike in the woods there, you were very probably going to see a black bear if it was spring or summertime. And the black bear was also going to see you, which could provide for an interesting uh, couple of moments. Luckily, I learned that black bear overall uh, aren't really interested in people and just kind of, they'll walk right past you on a trail. They don't, they don't care. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, Wailua Falls. We're headed up to Wailua Falls as I skillfully navigate this Hawaiian road that uh, there's a little bit of scenery on the way up. Really, it's not much. It's just kind of a jungly little setting. As you can see, uh, the roads, the weeds grow up so tightly at this time of year and it's been raining. Um, there hasn't been a lot of road maintenance right now, you can tell, and so it's tight. I, I would not want to drive a motorhome up here. Luckily, if you're uh, if you're in Oregon or Nebraska or Chicago, you probably aren't going to bring your motorhome to Hawaii when you come. I mean, that's just me. I guess it's possible, but it seems like a bad idea for a, for a trip. So uh, you can also see that it is it's sunny out, but it did sprinkle during part of my trip to Wailua Falls. Uh, also, it is so dark in the shadows and so bright 
where there are not shadows. Can you see that? My little GoPro camera is, is lots of contrast. There's a little bridge thing. I've never gotten the story on that, why it's there. When you see that bridge thing, by the way, you'll know that you're almost uh, there. And you can slowly begin to not stress out about the roads and who you're going to meet coming down the mountain in this tight little road. It's really not that uncomfortable to drive. It's, it's one of those things where if there's another car coming and it's bigger than you, you need to pay attention. But it's not that bad of a drive. I was also going to mention the population of Kauai. Even though we're out here in the middle, middle of nowhere, there are over 70,000 people who live on Kauai. And uh, Maui has more than that. The Big Island has about the same as Maui, I think. And the population in Honolulu is like a million people. So uh, Oahu, where Honolulu is, is about the same size physically as Kauai, just a tiny bit bigger, and yet it has over a million people on it. So that's interesting. 72,000 or so uh, on Kauai, some great restaurants, some great resorts, but a slower pace. When people talk about nightlife on Kauai, a lot of people say, hey, maybe you picked the wrong island. If you're looking for nightlife, I don't know if this is going to be the one. And it is definitely quiet on Kauai. Kauai settles down at night and relaxes. These uh, falls, the Wailua Falls, are about 173 feet, which is uh, 52 meters. Uh, so they're nothing to uh, sneeze at, and they are the easiest uh, of the falls on the island to just walk up to. The other one is called Opa'eka'a Falls, by the way, and it's closer up towards Kapa'a, the town of Kapa'a, the most populated town on the island, although Lehue and Kapa'a are about really about the same size. So here is where the road ends, by the way. You pull up here and park, and to the left there, that's just it. I mean, that's where you turn around. This road has been built. Look, there's a chicken. This road has been built for the sake of people who want to come see the falls. Uh, without question, it winds up the mountain road. There are some residences along the way, even a couple of businesses uh, along the way. But as you can tell, really, the purpose for this road is for you, when you come here, to cruise up here and see uh, Wailua Falls. I'll turn the volume up here and see what there is over this side here. Oh my goodness, there it is. That's kind of a special feeling. When you first walk up to Wailua Falls, and you flew for many hours to get to Hawaii, and you're trying to figure out if it's going to be all it's cracked up to be, and you come up here and you lean over this little ledge that is not too scary because you're not too close to the edge. Hopefully you don't leave your water bottle on the ledge like somebody did there to the left. And hopefully you don't ever try to take that trail in front of me there that leads down to the base because that's a stupid, stupid idea and people have gotten hurt trying to do that. There is a longer trail that will take you down to the base, but uh, that's for another trip, another video. And this is the moment you know you're in Hawaii. This is Wailua Falls. I'm telling you. It is really something to behold. And it's so simple just to walk up to. It's it's nice if you've got kids, if you've got uh, older folks with you who maybe don't want to do a whole lot of walking. This is a nice uh, tropical spot for them to see. Uh, just be careful. Hold on. Stay behind the rail. I'm Kendall Weaver. Thank you so much for tuning in for another edition of Life on Kauai.